It's our pleasure to have Phil here from Checkmate Winery, and I've had the pleasure of coming to your winery, and it's incredible, like it's beautiful, and now you have a tasting room. So I think you make some of the finest wines that we have in Canada, and definitely in BC, if not, uh, I think some of the best I've ever tried. So I'm really excited about you make Chardonnay, and that was your first project, and uh, now you've moved on to some Merlots, and that's new to our market. Yeah. And I really want to talk about Merlot and what you're doing, Phil, in the winery to make it more interesting. I think it's a really misunderstood varietal, and there's uh, some of the best wines in the world, as you know, like Petrus, are made with Merlot. Made from so Merlot, yeah. So maybe we could pour a glass, Have a taste, and yeah. you can tell me all about. What we've tried to do with the Merlots, um, there's a common theme that they're all sourced from the South Okanagan, but the Okanagan being such a, a narrow north-south facing valley, valley, there's such a a variety of different aspects and soil types that you can really um, make very uh, distinguished wines from di different sub-regions. So what we have here, the wine we're trying today is called Endgame, the first wine. And this is actually an expression of the eastern side of the valley, which to me is the warmer sun-kissed side. You get better sun exposures because um, these benches aren't really affected by the mountains to the west. So if you get nice sunlight going into the, into the twilight about 8, 9, 10 p.m at night which really uh, in a short growing season is vital to get ripeness and you can taste the ripeness in this wine and then the other two wines uh, that we have in front of us are both from the eastern bench as well but um, Endgame is made from both fruit from the Soyuz Lake bench and Black Sage bench and in these next two wines we just focus on a Soyuz Lake bench where you get a lot of purity of fruit. For Merlot you get hints of cassis and black currant which is a, quite a rarity Then you have these beautiful tannin structures um, and it, that grows in a warm site with fine sandy soils and the Black Sage Bench is a little bit further to the north. Um, again, quite sandy soils, but uh, it's an area known, uh, as the name suggests, it used to be sagebrush, so you get a lot of this um, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful mm -hmm. kind of uh, licorice, aniseed, uh, mm -hmm. savory characters coming through. They're yeah. worth trying. I hope everyone gets a chance. Well done. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers, Vanita.